The fresh and fit baby mama drama situation has gotten so out of hand, so damn crazy. And it's almost like you're legitimately watching a telenovela multiplied with The Maury Show with a little bit of sprinkled on top of on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. But I'm going to have to say that I completely underestimated the impact that Fresh Prince CEOs' actions have had on the fresh and fit brand. So much so is that they've recently created their second video combating the allegations against them. And my plan was not to continue covering the situation to get back to the content as per usual, but there's so much that has happened over the past couple of days. And because of that, there's so many lessons that we all can learn. So let's get active. So since the allegations after the text message and the audio recording went viral, Fresh and Fit had a stream talking about the situation and to summarize it, in my opinion, I thought that the stream was a complete clusterfuck. Namely, that they had a divorce lawyer come up and try to defend Fresh or shift the narrative. Now, that's not necessarily what I had an issue with, but the divorce lawyer was telling Fresh to shut up and to be quiet, which I'm sure he had that conversation with Fresh prior to hopping on the call, and then Fresh just willfully admits this little gem right here. But I will say this. I personally should not have nutted within a 304 like this. Fresh! Really? How the fuck you have your lawyer that is telling you to shut up and here you go over here just completely self-snitching on yourself? Because to be honest, up until this point, I was legitimately thinking to myself, what if this chick had just completely made up this whole thing? Because in my mind, I'm just like, Fresh is smart enough not to go raw daddy and an alleged 304, the amount of times of what she claimed that he did. But right there, he's telling you, the viewer, and everybody that follows and listens to their brand that do as I say, not as I preach. To think that a man that has a 1,000 body count is going raw into what looks like to me by looking at her public image, her cosmetic transformations, and her Instagram profile to be a 304 is completely absurd to me. He's gotta have much more experience than that. By the way, watching the interaction of that divorce lawyer reminded me how sinister yet profitable the business of divorce actually is. See, men like him are trained at spinning narratives. So imagine if that lawyer was being paid to defend a woman that wants to exact revenge upon you in the time that it took you to gain all of your assets or the children that you have fathered within that marriage. You could legitimately be an awesome, great guy that goes to homeless shelters to feed children every day. But if they put you in front of that judge and you have a divorce lawyer that's unscrupulous in nature, they're gonna spin you to being a worthless bastard that's never at home with his wife to care for her every needs while you're out wasting your life away in other people's homes. But I digress. But. In ridiculous fashion, on that stream, Fresh just willingly participated that he doesn't practice what he preaches, implicating him in being a liar grifter that acts one way publicly, but privately, he can't even spell condom. And also, they mentioned me in the stream. All right, because a lot of you fucking haters, a lot of these YouTubers that are talking shit, uh, and the fu who, who was the f quick ones to make a video? Anus and Leech right away? Yeah, right away. You still don't want to fucking box. Coward. Still uh, making videos. Mediocre. Uh, what's his name again? These niggas, man. Like, oh, bro, bro, you don't know the full yeah, story. We pay y'all bills, man. Yeah, MTR. You don't know the Pay y'all bills, bro. you fucking losers, bro. You took a clip from her and talking made a whole shit. video. Like, you Holy don't know the full shit. Story. They don't know the full story. Just commenting. And you and it's crazy to me because it's like, oh, no, we're Red Pill, we're men. We, 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 we go on the facts. Well, okay. Y'all going to believe some thought? Like, you're going to just believe uh, her. Like, the crazy part is like, she calls. It's obviously premeditated. She releases on Instagram. Y'all don't have any type of skepticism? <laughs> like, <sighs> like, yo, what the hell? Anyway. First off, kudos for the shout out, guys. But to be honest with you, I was surprised that I was lumped into the same bucket to who they have currently are in active war with and it being Abba and Preach. Because my position and the two videos that I uploaded previous to this is exactly what Myron's position is and the position of the majority of the audience that follows them. 
At the time, I thought, because of this chick's actions, she appears to be a perpetrator. She appears to be a predator. This woman appears to be a lying sack of shit 304, but you, Fresh, a complete fucking idiot for going raw daddy in a lying sack of shit 304. But apparently, holding you accountable is what you have a problem with. See, my brand is a bit different than your brand, and I'm not gonna sit here and judge another man in the way that he chooses to handle a situation at the point that he needs to be held accountable. But I prioritize in my life being accountable, telling the truth, and living my life according to what I tell my audience, what I tell the MT Army. Because I understand the gravity of the situation that we are all in as content creators. I understand the importance to my fans that I live my life and how I preach because of the position of influence that we are all in. Because I know that my lies will not only damage my own brand, but also the entire brand of men-centered content. So anyway, their content arch nemesis, Abba and Preach. And I actually think it's more specifically Abba, whose level of pettiness at this point dips down into the level of a 50 cent. I mean, if there's a petty award in 2024 that should be given, Abba should be <laughs> at the top of the goddamn list dropped a new video further painting Walter as a pookie who lied to get those guts. And at the point then a baby came into the mix, then he changed his tune and ran for the hills. When I first test positive, and I was just kind of shocked because I just want to see where his head's at. And then I, I tried to like talk to him, I called him, I text him. He acts like nothing happened, like not my business. like. Woman, not my business. Deal with, deal with it. We're not together. Like, don't call me. Don't text me. Things like that. That's that was his behavior. I have a thirty-seven minutes conversation between me and him. What if you think we don't keep the baby because we're not together anymore? Things happen, and I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. That would be fine. I would be okay. But he, the, he did completely the other, the other way around. That just, that just made me so sad. That just made me so sad. How can you, how can you, uh, you, you, you said you love me like literally two weeks ago and wanted to cling a f future with me. And now you, you're acting like this with me. So at this point in the telenovela, you probably have two different schools of thought. Either that this woman really did love Walter had genuine feelings for him. They communicated about having a baby. They sent loving text messages to each other, were buying each other gifts. He introduced her to his parents in Barbados, and she was really genuine about her feelings towards her. Or you have a scamming 304 who is not pregnant whatsoever, and this is simply a clout demon looking for a come up, but no matter what, out of either of those two scenarios or situations from this lovely young woman, you still have Walter that was weeks enough to spray baby batter in a young woman with whom he never wanted to have a baby with. Then to cap off the novella Fresh and Fit came back swinging with the ill Uno reverse card dropping a stream to assassinate the character of Miss Daisy. Chen. Girl with pregnancy allegations for Fresh turns out to be an alleged escort predator with a fake name. No. All right, so I can't play this one due to YouTube guidelines, but essentially it's a back of a young woman. You do not see her face, but it's a back of a young woman that is in an interaction with a man. And it sounds as if there was a solicitation to give her insides away for money. Now, what I will say that is interesting about this outside of her being uh, 304 that I originally <laughs> said in my previous video is that this guy who apparently buys S workers set up a hidden camera and probably also had on tape more than likely unbeknownst to her in very uncompromising positions. Myron then goes on to continue to expose her character for filth. You guys might be wondering, well, Myron, do you got proof? Oh. I do got proof, actually. I got video. Here she is, taking the dude's money and doing what she's about to do it. Oh. 
Hey, man. <laughs> we have her ID, right? Here she is. But it's to show you guys that we know what we're talking about here. We actually have her, Jin Chen. That's your real name, by the way, Jin Chen. It's not Daisy. You run around calling yourself Daisy Chen, but you're really Jin Chen. And we have the document. By the way, um, I think Myron is setting this up like she's changing her name on purpose. Most Chinese nationals that come over to the States change their name. How is it that I know that? Well, when I got my MBA, it was 50% international students and 40% of those were from China. They all changed their name. But let's review the allegations. It's to show that you got fired. And why you got fired? Again, this is all in Chinese. But guess what? My boy We Rise once again, aka China Man. He went ahead and translated for you guys. The employee seriously derelict in his duties or commits fraud for personal gain, causing major damage to the company. You stupid. We have her ID. Just real quick, too. If we all have friends like Myron, we can all do whatever we want in the goddamn world. We'd always have someone willing to back us up. <laughs> it's actually kind of endearing watching the amount of loyalty that Myron has to Fresh. Fresh is not even here for this conversation. It ended up being like an hour expose on this chick. I want to say Myron has done that because Fresh should no longer be speaking because it's clear that he can't be tr trusted in front of a microphone when told not to speak. But I do think that it's relevant to bring up a shady pass in defense of your friend or of your business partner. But it absolutely doesn't remove accountability from being a moron and skeeting in this chick. By the United States law, he has to pay for the child support. How much money do you think a man should make for? Yeah, I told him a million dollar. Walter apologized for everything and came clean on everything. Wouldn't you want him to be involved in like your child's life? But why would you care about that? Wrong answer. Shouldn't the priority be to like build a healthy life for your future child? Should yes. that be the focus? Okay, how, him. You don't care. You're not caring. The child right now is just a money ticket for you. You're not caring at all about the child. Why are you leaking what is all the this money? publicly? What the is money the, is the child's money. W for Destiny. You were talking about I agree. Earlier. You're very Who familiar with you? I, I don't want to talk to you. Pause. Um, Destiny's going to take a break. He doesn't want to, she doesn't want to talk to him because he's exposing the truth. You say in one sentence, I don't care about the money. Then you're saying, oh yeah, a man's got to make a million dollars a year. That is to the words, the exact same point that I made in my original video that you guys called me a loser for. I don't care about money. I never said I don't because yeah. I, on the show, I even said, they were asking me what, like, how much money do you think a man should make for? Yeah, I told them a million dollars. And that's my, my, <laughs> that's my uh, standards. He knows my standards. <laughs> Yo, imagine saying in one sentence, money doesn't matter to me. I'm not with him for money. But my requirement for a man is to make one million dollars. You're beginning to see the ridiculousness that engulfs this young woman's mind. In this final image here, they're linking the tattoo on her shoulder from her fitness page with the tattoo on her shoulder from that original escort video. And it also looks like here, her face is right here. I didn't see this in the original video, but now that I'm seeing this mixed with this tattoo, damn sure does look like her. But I'm an information guy. I'm a data guy and I love statistics. So I deal in likelihoods and probabilities and it is likely that Fresh was getting set up for the okie doke the entire time. And if this chick is an escort, someone who is willing to have S for the exchange of money, then I am more likely to believe that this chick is making this entire goddamn story up or she was tricking fresh for the okie doke the entire time. And there's the lesson <laughs> for all of my G's out there in the MT army, that if fresh didn't leave nothing but the nuts hanging out over raw daddy as he released his seed deep inside her viscous innards multiple damn times then none of this would be an issue for him or the fresh and fit brand but he did so whether or not she's being genuine or if she's a psychopathic 304 liar he did when he didn't want a baby with her potentially continuing the cycle of creating more single mothers to think that he might have gotten a sex worker pregnant after all of the content that they've done on their platform is absolutely crazy. And it proves that no matter the money that you have within your bank account or the information that you spit to men within your life, that if you become weak around a pretty face, a soft ass and luscious tits, it can all go out the window. Gentlemen, listen to me, listen to me very closely. If a woman calls you and tells you that you got her pregnant and you know 
that you let off in her multiple, multiple times. The response to that of getting an A is unaccountable as hell. Full stop. Don't put any other information within that equation right there. If you focus in on that point right there, then this is an issue of integrity. It's an issue of lying to your audience and you're seeing the repercussions play out in 4K. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me go to Turtles and Reviews at Gmail dot com again my goal was not to continue to talk about this and to wait to the results of maury to see is he the pappy or is he not the pappy but it's going to be interesting to see how this story develops over the next several days if it does develop i'm going to talk about it if it doesn't i'll see you in nine months until next time youtube